Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Arcade Plays RimWorld. Just wanted to point out this little nugget of conversation. <laughs> Jackson spoke about eating mushrooms with Jet. Jet responded about dragons. I'm starting to think that uh, not only is Jet a cannibal and a transhumanist, but she may have also gotten really messed up on shrooms at least one time. So, there is that. We are building some walls. We have got Mick. Uh, furiously crafting a cochlear implant, which is uh, kind of like a bas basically like a hearing aid. Um, that is going to be useful for getting. Uh, so the, the so the reason I went with the cochlear implant is because the, even though she doesn't need it, is because um, she doesn't uh, she doesn't really need any you know replacement body parts. And all it affects is that it'll bring her average hearing down a little bit, which, since she doesn't do social work, like, social tasks of any kind, is, like, completely irrelevant. So it's a kind of basically risk-free way to uh, meet that requirement for her. Albeit a bit pricey, because there's a couple of components, but I am, like, in a pretty decent surplus of components, so I can afford to spare them. Truthfully. Uh, Rissa. Rissa, 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 Rissa. Rissa. So yeah, overall Rissa's manipulation is up to 71%. The anesthetic is still wearing off. So it's going to go up to 81%. Which is pretty cool. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Very nice. Happy with that. And, um, yeah, business is, uh, business is going by. I'm anticipating Benico waking up very, very shortly. Uh, Fernandez is having not too much. So what I've, what I've noticed is that if I don't give him mining tasks, Fernandez takes care of a lot of cleaning, um, during the night times as well, which is very cool indeed. I am, however, going to have him mine a couple of components out right here because we are starting to get to the point where I'm going to be going through them. Um, so he's talking about lavish meals and crazy pandas. <laughs> it's just like, hey, whenever you wake up, man, I don't know if you've heard about crazy pandas, but those things are cool, and and we'll have some nice food. Like I don't know, he's just talking utter shit, from what I can tell. Um, the wall, the perimeter wall, is nearly complete. So I'm highly excited about that. Fernandez, are you going to get two components out of this? His mining skill is good, so... It does make sense. That's two components right there. Rissa like a gunshot. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so Rissa's manipulation is all the way up to 90%, so she's only got a very slight debuff to doing things now. I am unreasonably stoked about that. Unreasonably stoked. Let's make our, let's make our, am I not seeing drug, drug lab, drug lab. So 75 steel, six components and 50 wood, I can meet that. Yeah, I know, work speed penalty for bad temperature. I, I guess I should... What with having all this steel, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a tool cabinet that is going to sit right in the center of this room. I am going to make some... Uh, I'm going to make a wooden stool. Furniture stool. That is going to go in front of this, in front of this, and in front of this. Alright, yeah, uh, I was I was going to maybe move that for a second, but decided against it. Alright, let's, let's get to, let's get to making. Jet, what are you about? Jet is crafting more granite blocks. Outstanding. I'm going to need somebody to hunt. I am going to need somebody to hunt. Rissa with a shooting of six, I might make Rissa a bolt action rifle also. Might just do that. 
I kind of like her using a revolver now because it's kind of badass, not going to lie, but... I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I think for right now that's fine. Um, pretty soon I feel like I'm going to start getting tribals coming in with, uh, with weapons, you know? Uh, with, with guns. Like, low-level low guns. So I might be able to pick up some more guns here soon and then, uh, have that sort of be a thing. Acquire more weaponry through those kind of a means. Don't know what we've got as far as limestone blocks. Oh, he milked Felicia. We need food. Jeez. So let's, now that it's getting a little bit, it's still cold out. It's the last day of December-ary. But it's about turn into spring. So I am going to create a growing zone. Where is the, is there a soil fertility? Total fertility overlay. So all of this right here is all my, is all my good growing spot. So I could do like that. And then like this. Wait, no. Okay, 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 okay. So then I'm going to put a zone there. And then I'm going to put a zone here. Now I'm going to I'm going to say that this is going to be rice. It's going to be rice planting. This is going to be heel root planting. And this is going to be cloth. Cotton. And then we're going to take this and expand it this way, like that. Right, so it butts up against it without going into being the next thing. And then we're going to take this and expand it down like this, like this. And then expand this one like this. So we're basically going to take advantage of like all of our good fertility land. Right? So that's all great fertility. This is all kind of regular. So I can still I can still plant and grow, you know, kind of outside of the walls if I wanted. Or I, I could maybe plant some like weird stuff out there. But uh, for right now, this is going to be the farm. All right, cool, cool. I am happy with that. Royal Tribute Collector. Royal Tribute Collector from the Exodus Empire is approaching. They will accept any prisoners and gold you offer as a tribute. The one who gives over the tribute will receive honor for fulfilling the tradition and supporting the upper houses. So here's a thing. I can take prisoners and if I keep them, I can uh, I can sell them to the Royal Tribute Collector for honor because the Exodus Empire I mean they're they're okay with some slavery which is kind of lame but whatever jet now I know you've got things that you need to do but right now I want to give you a cochlear implant in your left ear why the left ear? I don't know. Because the other one's all right. Ha! That was just horrible. All right. So I guess Happy's going to do this surgery. Please don't, like, accidentally stab her in the brain. That would be the lamest. She's good. All right. Now she has a cochlear implant. Interestingly, she is still transhumanist frustrated. Odd. And everybody's kind of got nothing to do right now. So let's let's assign some of you to constructing because honestly, there's a lot of granite that I can afford to spare. 
Although, here, granite chunks. Haul, like, as much of this as you can. So happy you can do that. Rissa, I guess you can go do that too. Jet normally would be my hunter, but I guess Jackson being a good shooter can be a hunter too. And Jackson, yeah. So Jackson, you are going to be also a hunter, and I am going to have you hunt just for this little one-off. Oh, I love this piece of music. It's real nice. I feel like I'm going to have you hunt this, uh, this mega sloth. What could go wrong? So you go hunt the mega sloth. This anima tree is at 13 grass. It's happening. I was just making sure that I was right and that it was 20 that was needed. So I'm going to manage this hunting trip. So remember, he's only got to get the uh, moving down to like 90%. Yeah. So now he is safe. I wonder if uh, Fernandez ever drank that beer. Chemical hunger. I guess somebody got to the beer. Interesting. So he's going to get more and more mad the longer he goes without having some form of chemical stimulation. Which is kind of a problem for me. Hunt that sloth boy. I know I know. I told you to always be meditating, but also maybe hunt the sloth. Because we really need the meat. Mega sloth revenge, but like, really, what's the point now, buddy? He can walk slowly backwards and you're not going to be a problem to him. Good job, Jackson. Alright, these guys that were bored are now hauling in granite chunks that Jet's not going to be able to do anything with because she is uh, sedated. I wonder what... I wonder what the problem is. I wonder why that's not fulfilling her need for an artificial body part. That's going to bug me. I may have to look that up. I wonder, Rissa, if you go talk to these guys, like, do they sell anything or do they just like take prisoners yeah they don't actually sell anything they're just trivia collecting alright Jet you're going to be anesthetized for a little while yeah she's still transhumanist frustrated alright good to know that was a waste of my time outstanding I feel like that is definitely supposed to work Needless, she is going to go back to building walls. Although she's going to be doing so slowly because she's kind of woozy from that anesthetic. Yeah, go have a go have a little sleep. Sleep it off. Thomas needs treatment. Happy, that's going to be her lungs from the asthma. Somebody started planting the rice. Outstanding. Nudity. Benico is still nude. Almost. Two more days. Two more days. We almost have Benico. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yep, Fernandez is just going to spend all night planting plants. Like a true champion. I like that he does that and kind of cleaning and stuff throughout the night. That's kind of like tasks that I like are getting taken care of while, um, you know, while, uh, while everyone else is asleep. Alright, research finish plate armor. Cool. 
next thing I'm going to have you research is flak armor. This is going to take a while. But I'm, uh, I'm good for it. And then we can start kind of making flak vests and stuff for my regular combatants. I think Fernandez, I'm going to make him a whole, like, actual flak jacket. Because he's getting all up in the melee combats and, uh... Although saying that, I might even make him, like, just some straight-up plate armor. Because that is also very cool. Let's, let's, uh, so if she's forced to wear the gun link. Forced. So if I clear the forced, are you going to start, like, taking your gear off, or are you just going to sort of stick with what you got? Alright, cool. Cool, they're not ditching all their gear for no reason suddenly. There is an eclipse. Alright. Gonna be weirdly dark. Everybody enjoy the eclipse. I was actually, uh... I was alive for an eclipse that I remember when I was a child. Uh, I was on TV. I got interviewed by the local news about it. And, uh... It's quite funny, because they came to ask me, like, what I thought of the eclipse, and I'm like, you know, seven years old or whatever. So I'm just like, I'm just, uh, yeah, seven or eight years old. I'm just like, oh, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, really cool. Because, like, what the hell do I know to say about an eclipse? Man, and also, um, like, we'd, we'd gone to watch the eclipse out by the, uh, by the seafront. So I was sitting up there, and uh, I guess I'd been eating, because... I was uh, hungry as a child. I'm hungry as an adult. Whatever. And I had, uh... I had been, like... I, I, you can see in the TV footage I've got, like, crumbs down my shirt. From where I was eating, I think, possibly a nice pie. So, yeah, that's my story about one of the times I was on TV. I was actually on TV another time as well, uh, as uh, in my school nativity play when I was a child. So that is also a thing. Take that for as much importance as you will. It's basically none. Not gonna lie. All right, Fernandez has done some planting. Doing some cleaning. Good lad. Good stuff. Good guy. Just top guy. Top guy. So I've been kind of speeding more through the days now. Um, since we've been in kind of a good place that requires a little bit li less direct oversight from me. And yeah. Nine hours. Nine hours. Today. We're going to have Benico today. I'm super excited about this. Very excited. Very excited indeed. Do I have gear for her? Do I have pants? Should I have somebody make a pants? Yes. Let's have Mick construct a pants for Benico. We are going to do once this is gonna be Mick you're gonna do this you are gonna make these pants out of heavy fur because we've got absolutely heckin tons of it Lordy do we need some more meat though what do we got on the map what do we got on the map that we can easily take care of we've got muffalos boomalopes we got some zero percent revenge chance animals so let's take out all the deer. And also that turkey. That seems good. Jet's gonna have a little meditate. So you can set like a target psi focus level for them to have. And they will do their best to uh, automated, automatically meditate to try and have that um, level of psi focus. It's very good. The eclipse has ended. It is bright. Everyone is, everyone is just overjoyed. Look at this. Look at the moods right here. Look at the moods. Jet's having a bit of a shitter, but that's mostly because she's hungry. Jackson's just ecstatic. 
How long does he keep that rescued bonus for? Two days. So he'll, he'll calm down a little bit, but, you know, Fernandez is right up there. Zillard's right up there. Mick. Happy. Everybody's just having a real good time. Apart from Betico. She's going to need to take care of some shit. Whenever she comes to. Which is going to happen in three hours. Mick. Constructed the pants. Oh, somebody else took the pants. There's some Synthroid pants. There's a Parker right there. Let's let's make her a shirt too. Let's make her a camel hide shirt. Yeah, sweet. Do it. So She's going to get some, some cloth pants. Benico is going to have some cloth pants. Mick, there is a bill. There is now a bill to make a button-down shirt. Okay, whenever, whenever you're free to do it, I guess. Like, butchering is fine. There it is! There it is! There it is! Oh, she's got a little braid in her hair. That's awesome. So she's got the parka and pants. She's going to eat. And she's going to be primarily a backup grower. So she needs... Oh, she actually has a schedule. Work priority. Animals 10, yep, you can handle up. I'm a high, I'm a okay with that. Yeah, Jackson, you don't need to handle animals, buddy. Cook, no, you're not going to cook. You are going to grow. And you are going to plant cut. And when there's art to do, you will probably be my choice. So no one else needs to do art. She's going to be my art doist. Alright. This is pretty excellent. Oh, and also for uh let's where's where's Wolfo? So your master is Benico. I kinda want you to just stick with Benico. Recreation deprived. Trapped underground. Go outside. Just go outside. Do something fun. You know, play some horseshoes. Yep. Cabin fever. There we go. There you go. She is going to have a happy time. She's not going to come into stuff too often. But I'm happy, I'm happy to have her around. Because she will haul stuff. She will clean stuff. She's another, she's another sort of spare hand for hauling and cleaning things. And that I like a lot. Because the more stuff happens, the more stuff is going to need to get hauled and cleaned. So Mick. Mick, Mick, Mick. So Rissa right now has a uh, revolver. These two guys have got bolt action rifles. I would like for Sillard and Mick to have guns so they can assist in defense. I feel like that'll be a huge deal. So why don't we, why don't we make some sandbags first? We are going to make, we are going to make, what, as far as leathers, what have we got the most of? The, that comes under textiles, guy. 
So we've got a lot of heavy fur, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep the heavy fur for clothes. Plain leather. Plain leather is what we are gonna use to make sandbags. Each one needs five, so we are gonna go like this. Yeah. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Alright. That's going to be one defensive enclosure. And then this is going to be another one. Wait, yep. Yeah, like this. Outstanding. So we're going to have some defensive positions. Very excited about that. So the next time there's a there's a fucking shootout, we'll uh, have a bit of a better chance of handling up on business. Right on, right on, right on. There we go. I guess we're kind of waiting on Jet to get done. Jet is assisting in hunting right now. That is good. We are getting a lot of meat. Mick is taking care of butchering. This is awesome. This is very, very cool. All right. The rice is growing at a pretty good rate. Where? Hmm. So, if I build a rice silo, where am I going to put that? Because I will kind of move these shelves eventually out of the way. I may... I've kind of got this. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to earmark this out. Or actually maybe up here. Uh, I think for a throne room eventually. For whenever, um, whenever Jet ends up needing one. Oh look, Zillard's pitching and helping with the... Uh, Helping with the construction. So, okay, okay, okay. Benico has an intellectual of four. But I think having having her be... Like, do I want to... No, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to have her researching. Even though she kind of doesn't have much else to do. We're out of wood. That's what we're going to do. There you go. That's the thing Beneko can do. She can chop wood. So let's chop a bunch of this wood. And maybe additionally to that, a bunch of this wood. And all have a wonderful time. Just got to keep those generators running. Lord only knows. All right. To war, me Benico. There you go. She's a wood chopping beast. Mick's getting after it there too. And pretty soon we are going to have some vegetation. We will start being able to get back into um, back into fine meals. Felicia's eating some grass. Arctic Wolf. Arctic Wolf is fully trained. Someone should name this wolf. You can do it. Benico, really, you should name this wolf. Cool, she's helping with the chopping and hauling, all kinds of good stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm really thinking about what if I make 
what if I make a couple shotguns for Zillard and Mick? And I'm thinking I want to do that. 60 steel and three components each. I can spare this. So Mick, whenever you want to, go ahead and uh, make us a couple of shotguns. Now, some people, um, I, I am aware, like, hate shotguns as a weapon in this game. I, I feel like that's largely sort of the, the idea, is that shotguns are bad. Visitors from Northern Orlay. Got a few things to trade, have you? Guess we'll have the commander come talk to you. Whenever you get close enough. But this is pretty cool. We've got some... We've got some walls. Alright. Get and have this conversation. What do you want? Uh, oh, you will sell us a flak jacket? I would like to sell you these short bows that are terrible. And... Can I purchase this flak jacket? I cannot. I cannot afford this normal quality flag jacket. I could probably build better quality flag jackets myself. Please take these short bows though. I want them out of my inventory. Sorta of sucks that they won't buy the crappy clubs though. Might start burning those. Alright, cool. Quest available. Down shuttle. <sighs> a shuttle of the Exodus Empire has taken damage and is seeking a place to land. Its commander wants to land at Wentworth. The tribe's people from Zine Confederacy will attack the crashed shuttle site and attempt to kill its occupants. You must defend them. The shuttle contains Bastos and two Janissaries. The commander must be rescued, but the Janissaries may be sacrificed. After eight hours, a rescue shuttle will come. Shuttle will come to pick up the survivors. You'll need to get them all on board within twelve hours. I can do this for Glitter World Medicine or for Honor. I could do this to get Jet some Honor. But eight Glitter World Medicine though, because when I get Glitter World Medicine, I can then use that to take care of scars and stuff. But this is the only way. But I can get Glitter World Medicine other ways, but this is the only way to get on her. And either way, I get to loot the shuttle. So that's cool. I am going to look into doing this for the next episode. So, um. I will use the age old words to help me concentrate and focus on making a good decision here, which are, um. I have been Cade. This has been Rimworld. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.